Welcome back to our end of season player reviews. Now we round things off with our an Italian stallion, Graziana Pella. Nick, what do you remember of his season? I, again, I like Pella from the start, you know, but for some reason, some some sections of our support don't like it, like him. And, uh, you know, the number of times I've admonished people stood around me for just blatant abuse to Graziano Pella. And it, it's it's wrong. I, I mean, his only crime has been that he replaced Ricky Lambert. And for some people, they found it hard to accept that. But, you know, Pella's been here two seasons. He might not be here for a third. But we've had good value for money and again 11 goals he was joint leading scorer he doesn't take penalties he doesn't take free kicks he just scores goals and again a little bit like Shane Long but without not with the work rate that Shane Shane has uh, but he keeps the ball in play he wins balls brings people into play you know he's been a great servant to, to Saints he, he probably can't be called a legend if he only does two years here but he certainly has been good value for money if he stays again another season great but if we move him on get a good fee for him and bring in another good replacement that's what we do at Southampton Football Club so another good season for Graziano uh, you know eight out of Eight and a half out of ten for his play, ten out of ten for his hair. It never moves. <laughs> it has never out of place, is it, Clive? No. Some people would say he never moves full stop, but <laughs> the, no, I, th- I agree with Nick that some of the some of the criticism has been most unfair, and I don't know because he helps the team. He he very often keeps possession. There were there was one little moment in the season where he was again a bit a bit like um, Charlie Austin was probably trying too hard mm. and, and things weren't going for him and then it all came back together again so he's, he's uh, he sort he's of went a, off the ball around Easter time didn't he yeah he did he did um, and Long was keeping him out of the team Long was keeping him out of the team because Saints have found a new way of playing mm. for, for so long in the last couple of seasons no pun intended, no pun intended. the ball had gone into Pella and then had gone off to the to the wide man and then we build from there yeah. and then all of a sudden you've got Long and Mane which is a completely different threat to defenders and they found it really difficult to cope with to be honest um, but things never stay the same very long in football and we always need to to have Pella or, or that option there yeah. that option there so it's got some cracking goals as well especially that one against Liverpool yeah on the yeah yeah that, that that was a cracking goal there was there was a few and, and I think Sometimes when the ball falls to him in a certain area, you know it's going to be a goal. You know he's going to put the ball away. He's again, we've said this before on here, but he's the Italian centre forward playing for Saints. Mm. How many times could we have ever said that in the past? Yeah, we've had some great centre forwards over the years, but the Italian centre forward is a very prestigious position. Know. We had Cosmo Sali, wasn't it, at one stage? <laughs> <laughs> if you remember him, he may have. Ali Dyer. Ali Dyer. I mean, for me. The highlight of the season for uh, Pella was Chelsea away. Yeah. I mean, he scored a great goal yeah. and he, he had a hand in both of the others. Uh, I, can't, I think it was Mane's goal late on where Pella was it, it won the ball early doors and started and moved it on. But he, he just had a great game that day. And, you know, I thought that's got to silence the critics, if anything has. Yeah, but and, and, and I think Stoke away was a very important game. Everybody mm-hmm. went up there. With, what, have we just lost... To yeah, Bournemouth and or, or Bournemouth and, and drawn with Sunderland, mm. was it just before? Yeah, yeah. And and people went up there with with not a lot of hope to be honest. Uh, Jose was uh, suspended, and that was a massive game in terms of qualifying for Europe. That was a massive game because it it gave people the hope that uh, that game was that point. That game was really a turning point. Uh, well, it kind of was the Liverpool, the Liverpool game. You could argue as well, but but yeah. Yeah, that that was that was a kind of a turning point because it, it kept us in the hunt. Mm. It kept us in the hunt, definitely. And how would you rate his season out of ten, mate? I'd go nine, nine because uh, he's been consistent with his performances, scored vital goals, and at certain times of the season was massively important to us. Yeah. I think I'll go with an eight and a half out of ten for Graziano Pella. Like I said a little bit earlier on, he went off the ball around Easter time, but scored for some fantastic goals along uh, the whole of the season. But let us know in the comments below what would you give Graziano Pella out of ten. So that wraps things up for our end of season player reviews. Subscribe for more.